Jewish feast of the unleavened bread. The bishops and judges were searching for how they might arrest Jesus in secret and kill him, they said. We should not do with the repast, we should not do with the repast, we should not do with the repast. Happening in Jerusalem, Jesus was at the house of Simon the leper in Bethany. They were sitting around the table when a woman came in. She had an alabaster jar. Watched in disbelief, they muttered to one another. What? What? What is she doing? What is she doing? Why did she waste the jar of oil? We could have sold it for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Give it all the money to them. Give it all the money to them. Give it all the money to them. Jesus spoke up. In order to betray Jesus to them, they were happy to hear what he had to say, and they promised him money. From then on, Judas looked for his opportunity. On the first day of
The teacher wants to know, is there a guest room for me here where I can eat the holy meal with my friends? Mm, he will take you to a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us. sent two of his followers, and when they went into the city, they found everything just as he said. They prepared the holy meal, and just as it was turning dark, Jesus and the twelve arrived. While they were sitting around the table eating, Jesus said, Okay. 
gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, but not me.
open area called Gethsemane, Jesus said to the twelve, He took Peter, James, and John along with him. Jesus sank into despair and fear. He said to them,
said to Peter, Simon, you are sleeping. You could not keep watch for one hour. and found them sleeping again. Their eyelids proved too heavy. They did not know what to say to him. When he came back the third time, he said, Still sleeping, I have progressed it. It will have to be enough.
led Jesus to the archbishop, who had gathered together all the other bishops, judges, and counselors. Peter followed a little ways off, right into the courtyard of the archbishop. There he tried to blend in with the servants and warm himself at the fire. <laughs> the bishops and the whole high council were determined to find evidence against Jesus and put him to death. But they couldn't find a thing. Many people got up and made false charges, but the High Council saw through the conflicting stories. Some rose and gave his false testimony against him. We And Jesus himself. You don't want to say anything to these accusations. Jesus made no answer. He was silent. The Archbishop tried again. Are you the Messiah, the child of the only blessed one? Jesus said, Yes, I am. And you will see the Son of a people seated at the right hand of Talking about. 
as he stepped away from the fire into the shadow of the gateway, a rooster crowed. The slave girl took a closer look at Peter, then she got the attention of the others around the fire. A little time passed before a couple of them said, You must be one of them! You must be one of them! Go again! Peter cursed, and then he swore to them, I do not know that man! At that moment, the rooster crowed a second time. Peter remembered how Jesus had said to him, The night before the cock draws twice, the judges, the counselors, and the whole high council were deciding what to do. They bound Jesus and dragged him away by force and handed him over to Pilate. Bishops had accused him of many things, so Pilate asked him, Don't you want to defend yourself? Look at this lengthy list of charges. But Jesus said no more, which amazed Pilate. Now every year for the holiday, Pilate would release to the people one prisoner for whom they asked. There was one called Barabbas, who had been caught along with some murderous rebels. 
As the crowd gathered, they began to ask Pilate to release our prisoner as he had done before. In response, Pilate asked them, Who do you want me to set free? The king of the Judeans? Pilate figured he knew what the bishops were up to. They brought Jesus to him because they were jealous. Shops had stirred the crowd into asking for Barabbas. Pilate asked them, What do you want me to do with the one you call the king of the Judeans? They shouted back, Shouted all the more. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Bar Abbas to them. Jesus beaten with a whip and ordered him hung on a cross. The soldiers took him to the praetorium, the palace courtyard, and called to gather the whole battalion. They dressed him in a purple robe and put a crown of twisted thorns on his head, and they began to salute him. purple robe and put his own clothes on him and they dragged him out to crucify him. The soldiers forced Simon Sarin, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry Jesus' cross. Though he is just a passerby, 
who happened to be coming in from the fields. The soldiers led Jesus to Golgotha, the place of the skull. There they offered him wine laced with myrrh, but he wouldn't take it. Then they nailed him to a cross. They divided his clothes among them, throwing dice to see who got what. It was about nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. Above him hung the inscription of the charge against him, the king of the Judeans. They crucified two other rebels along with him, one on his right and one on his left. The people who walked by cursed at him and shook their heads. They said, The 
bishops mocked him among themselves and with the judges they said we say God. Lieutenant Colonel on guard watched him breathe his last breath. He said, Truly, this man was the son of God. women watched all this from a little ways off. There was Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James the Lesser, and Joseph and Salome. These were the ones who followed him and served him when he was in Galilee. They and other women too had come up with him to Jerusalem. It was starting to be evening, time to be getting ready before the Sabbath begins. Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the High Council, who himself expected the kingdom of God, 
boldly went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate couldn't believe Jesus was already dead. He turned and questioned the lieutenant colonel about it. The lieutenant colonel assured him, and Pilate, Pilate released the corpse to Joseph. Joseph bought a linen burial cloth, cleaned the body, and wrapped it in the cloth. He put him in a tomb newly hewn and rolled a stone against the passageway. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph watched as he was buried. 